Hello. We got a Galaxy S6 Edge Plus today that doesn't power on. Uh, customer said the phone just doesn't power on. There's no signs of life at all. Uh, it, it's been charging the whole night and nothing came on. The first thing I did was uh, open it up, change the battery to see if it's a battery problem and the phone is still not turning on. So there's a problem somewhere on the board. So right now what I want to do is inspect the board under a thermal camera, under the floor cam. I want to inspect it to see if I see any hot spots anywhere on the board or if there's a short anywhere on the board. I just want to get an, an idea of the heat properties of this board. Now the good thing is I have another board, uh, another Galaxy S6 Edge Plus board. This is a good board. So I'll be comparing the heat properties uh, of this board compared to the customer's board. By looking at both boards, I can quickly tell if uh, heat is an issue on the customer's board. Let me take you over to the thermal cam. I'm going to plug a battery on the customer's board. And then we'll see what happens when the battery is plugged in. All right, so the battery is plugged in now. Do we see anything unusual on the board? So the only heat area I can see on the board is this. Hello, how are you? All right. I don't know the price. How much uh, take care. Bye-bye. The battery is plugged in. The first, uh, the only heat area I, I can see on the board is this uh, IC here. Now, this chip, power IC chip. I do not know if it's supposed to be on, if it's supposed to heat up when the battery is plugged in. Right now the phone is not even on, so it's heating up without the phone being on and the phone is not being charged. The only way I will know if this is normal is to compare it with a good board. So we'll be switching over to the good board to see if uh, this chip heats up when the battery is plugged in. Let's quickly take a look uh, at how this chip looks like before I proceed to testing the other board. So this is the chip right here. Let me go ahead uh, and inspect the, the good board under the thermal cam and see if this chip is supposed to heat up. So this is the good board that we have for the S6 Edge Plus. I'm going to plug in the battery. so the battery is plugged in do we see any hot areas on the board is this chip heating up like the other board I do not think so so there is no heat anywhere on the board the chip is right here no heat at all the other one the whole chip was heating up but right now I can immediately tell that the problem is the power IC chip so so as you can see, I did not have to test any components on the board. I did not have to read any circuit diagrams. I did not have to look at uh, any uh, PCB or board uh, view programs. All I did was inspect the boards under a thermal cam. I found out what the problem was. Right now, what I need to do is order the chip. I do not have one in stock. And the purpose of this video was really not to show you how to unsolder and solder back the chip, but rather how to troubleshoot and find out what the problem is with the board. So now that we know what the problem is, I can go ahead and order the chip. I'll replace it and uh, the phone should work again. Uh, we have a couple of more phones that do not power on. Uh, I'll probably be doing videos on those too. This is the iPhone uh, 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. So we'll see what's going on with those phones. Uh, I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, Post them in the comments and uh, I'll see you again in the next video.